Well, good evening, church, and welcome back to another service, another church online service. And we're so excited to be back here this evening, Pastor Kwanda. That's right, Fidelia. We are so excited, especially after what happened this morning. Yes. Pastor John ministered a powerful, powerful word. Absolutely. And I'm so excited about Fidelia. Man, aren't you glad to be in Durban Christian Centre at I, this time? I couldn't be more prouder to be a part of a church like this, that even in times like this, the Word of God still gets ministered to to everybody actually. That's right. You know what David said in Psalms 119, powerful verse of scripture mm. there. He talks about how he said that in his times of affliction, it was the word of God for Delia that wow. lifted him up. It was the word of God that revived him. And so once again, man, it's such an honor to be part of Durban Christian Center to serve under a pastor who ministers the word of God. And in this time, church, you've been following us. We are my church, my home, in your home. And we just want to take this time to thank you um, for tuning in and being a part of what we are doing here. And right Right now, wherever you're watching from, just uh, in our comment section, just let us know where you're watching us from. Also to our eFam, welcome to the service. And I know tonight you are in for a treat. So tonight's service, Pastor Kwanda, is our soak service, yep. right? And as you know, our soak services are nights where we just come and worship and soak in the presence of God. We need that for Delia. We need that. Especially now more than ever. Especially in times and uncertain, you know, in times of uncertainty yeah. like these for Delia. I'm reminded once again of David. Pastor John ministered on this year. How is it that one day when David came back home uh, to Ziglag that, you know, his nation had been destroyed and he was under a lot of stress for yeah. Delia. His very own men, the Bible tells us, wanted to stone him because of what had happened. Their wives and their children were taken away. And here's what I love is this, is this part. The Bible tells us for Delia that he strengthened himself in the Lord. Pastor John told us that one of the ways in which he did that was that, that he took his harp and he went away to an isolated place and he began to worship the Lord, he began to praise the Lord. And the reason for that for Delia was because he wanted to get his focus right. Mm. I know sometimes with so much that's happening, family, you know, our minds are distorted. We're thinking of that, we're thinking of that. But when we worship, and like you said, for Delia, when we soak ourselves in his presence, man, it takes our minds off that. Not that we become ignorant, for Delia, no. but just but for that moment, man, you are in his presence. And the Bible tells us that in his presence, there is fullness, fullness of, of joy. joy. And you know what? I think especially now than ever, yeah. we need the peace of God. Yeah. We need the joy of the Lord. We need that understanding that supersedes all understanding. Because, you know, we were just talking and we were saying how we're so proud of our president and, you know, the decisions yeah. that our president has made for this time for South Africa as a country. And, you know, I think in that moment, that evening when that announcement was made, I think naturally panic must have struck the hearts of many people yes. for very real reasons. Mm -hmm. And I know at my house, you know, the speech came on and we obviously understood what was going on. And before anything had happened, my mom just said, let's put the TV off, let's put the worship on mm -hmm. and let's just worship and we spent almost an hour last uh, on that night just worshiping in the presence of God and just fixing our eyes on him yes. because at the end of the day he is the one that is in control of this entire situation that we are all facing as a nation yes. and that is why I'm so excited for tonight and I'm so excited Pastor Kwanda that our congregation can still experience our soak service that they don't have to be excluded yes yes and, you know, I know that Pastor Wayne said this here um, some time back that aren't we grateful for technology? Absolutely. I think we are so, right now, so grateful that because of technology, we can care, we can love, and yes. we can still be in contact with our church family that even though we're on a lockdown, yeah. church is still coming to you. That's right. And family, we want to encourage you. Engage. Be part of this, as Fadilia has said. Oh. Technology has made it possible for us that wherever you are, you could be at home, you could be in your room, but family, it's a simple thing yeah. of standing up and lifting up your hands and just worshiping the Lord right where you are. I'm excited once again, like for Delia, yeah. because I know that God is going to do something, but how many of us know that God is not limited to ATV? 
And it's not lim limited to a geographic location to a either. geographic sites, but you know, wherever you are, the presence of God is there for you. So once again, we want to encourage you, engage, engage, engage. Absolutely. And with that topic of engaging, family, if you would like to give to our ministry at any point during this service, you will see that our banking details will appear up on your screen. There's various ways to give to this ministry, yep. to support this ministry. Um, the first way is EFT. Mm -hmm. So the banking details will pop up on your screen uh, you can give to our building fund I mean we still have a building that's going to be opening yep. sometime soon and then you've got your zapper codes that you can uh, scan if you want to give either your tithes your offerings or there again your building fund and I think from our senior pastors hearts we also just want to thank each and every person for your generosity in yes, this time yes, yes. for for sowing into the ministry and for just being so generous um, they really 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 do appreciate it yeah man Fadila once uh, we you know we want, we want to say thank you once again we can never you know say thank you enough family for what you are doing your heart and your commitment towards the ministry yeah. and so thank you we know that you're giving and you're giving from your heart you know we do not take that lightly we receive that with a good heart as well and we know we know that that seed is going on to fertile ground Amen. For it Amen. will not land on unfertile Amen. ground and and that's what we pray over you in the name of yeah. Jesus that as you release that seed that you would see the manifestation of what you believe in God for yeah. that your seed would bear fruit over your life not just not just not just to you we've been singing the song numbers chapter 6 for Delia that that the blessing Lord, bless would be for yeah. a thousand generation mm. because of a seed that you released and out of obedience so yeah we're quite excited family we're quite excited about that and speaking of being excited family we just also want to remind you that our care structure here at the church during this time is running as normal we have a phenomenal team of pastors who still love and who still care for you and you might be sitting there and wondering well then how do I get in contact with the pastor how do I reach the church well right now on your screen are details as to how you can contact us during this time you can send an email through to info at dcc-admin.co.za Alternatively, you can send a WhatsApp message to our WhatsApp hotline. So you can send us a message and you will get a response. And the best way that we can serve you, we will serve you. Now, Pastor Panda, it's, it's time for that service. It's time for that service. It's time to soak in His presence. It's time to just let God be God. Yep. And I'm excited. I hope you're excited. I'm excited. I'm ready. Are you ready? I am so ready. And family, we hope that you are ready. So right now, we're going to go live into the Jesus Dome to our worship team. And from Pastor Kwanda and I have an incredible soak service. Engage with us. Worship with us. And we look forward to hearing from you.
Raise our hands as we sing it tonight. And I will run into the wall. Jesus, take me deeper. Come on, sing it in tonight. You are, you are, you are never ending rain. Flowing full of power. Full of power. Washing over me. Washing over me. We run to you, Lord, and I will run into the water. Jesus, take Jesus, me take me deeper, saturating me. I don't care, no. I don't care what it looks like. I'm dying. Nothing can stop. Nothing will stop this passion. Sing it with us tonight. And I'll raise a hallelujah. Louder than the unbelief. Oh, I'll raise a hallelujah. My weapon is a melody. My weapon is a melody.
the Lord is with us. And this is how we fight our battles. Hallelujah. This is how we fight our battles. The Lord is for us, yeah. Somebody say, oh. prophesying in the atmosphere we're prophesying into our lives we're prophesying into the city we're prophesying into this nation and we declaring in the name of the Lord our God 
This is where we fight our battles. It is not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. We are well able to overcome. We are well able to pursue. We are well able to overtake. We are well able to recover. And so will we do. And this is how I fight my battles in the name of Jesus. We give you praise as you declare that today. That is your sound. I believe that God is taking our voice. He's taking the sound of this house today. And there's an amplifying of this sound in the name of Jesus. Tonight that you can believe God. That He will bring a breakthrough on your behalf. He will do great and mighty things. Things that you have known not of. Things that you have never thought He is well able to do. So we soak in your word. We soak in your promises. We soak in the blessing of the Lord. For you declared the blessing of the Lord. Father makes rich and adds no sorrow thereto. And so will we rest in that Lord. Knowing that you are well able and you will do exceedingly abundantly. Above all we are able to think or even ask of. We bless your name. We bless your name. We thank you Father. I don't know if you can sense the presence of the Lord. That even as we've been worshipping the Lord and we continue to worship. Remember that as we, we sing to the Lord. That's one expression of you and I worshipping the Lord. Another expression is where we can come and give to the Lord. But tonight before we, we move uh, to, to that portion of our worship tonight in the soak service. I want to welcome every one of you. Those that are live streaming and, and like we did welcome you earlier today. Tonight we just want to say once again. Family, we welcome you in Jesus name. There may be family immediate of the house of the Durban Christian Center. Welcome to you. There would be an extended family of the body of Christ. And we welcome you in the name of Jesus. We're glad that you're joining us tonight in this time of worship. Family, we as a church, as much as we are not coming together, but we're grateful to God for technology that we can come out and we can, we can join you in your living room. We can join you in your home. And what we would love to share with you tonight is for you just to know and just to remind you that we still here to care for you as a church. So the Durban Christian Center, we do have a WhatsApp care line and that will come up on your screen. And if you could kindly take note of that at any time that you're looking for care, you may even look for prayer, whatever it is, if we can assist you, we're going to try to do so. Also, there's an email address that you can, you can contact us on info at dcc-admin.co. God said it. Well, blessings to you, family, and, and more so tonight. I want to I want to greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, but also tonight from the house of, of Durban Christian Center, on behalf of our senior pastors, Pastor John and Joy, we welcome you and we thank God that we can do life together. Well, blessings to you. I, I, I just want to encourage us that you know I, I was reading uh, the book of Psalms and Psalms 19, verse 14. This is what the Bible says. With everything that's going on around us, this is what the Bible says. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. You know, we've learned, and Pastor John has been teaching us, that you create your world by the words that you speak. And just to remind you, this is what the psalmist David said. He was a worshiper. He was one that opened himself from heart. He was one that opened himself in mind, in strength of all of who he was. He gave it to God. And these are the words that he declared. Let the words of my mouth. I want to encourage you that in this time, can we be purposeful to determine the words from my mouth will be words of faith. And secondly, May the meditation of my heart, how many of you realize we live from the abundance of our hearts? So in this time of where it is locked down, in this time of where you are, you are so-called limited, can I encourage you? Can we encourage you as a ministry? Watch the words that you speak. Watch the meditation of your heart because it, from the abundance of that, we begin to live. I'd like to share with you a portion of scripture that, that is read from 2 Timothy 1.7. 2 Timothy 1.7. For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. I'm going to read that again. 
For God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power. When we speak of power, what are we saying? Contentment. That's the spirit that God has given to us. A spirit of confidence. That's the spirit that Jesus has imparted to us. A spirit of hope. That's the power that is given to us. A spirit of love and self-control. Family, tonight, as we would worship God in our giving, I want to encourage you that God is a giver. He is a generous, without limits, open-handed God to you and I. Secondly, His generosity blesses you first. God is never selfish in what He does. Everything that He puts upon your life, He blesses you and He calls you and I to be a blessing to others. I want to say to you, you are always in the equation when you are a giver. You are never taken out. You never lose. And lastly, I want to say to you, the generosity of God gives you control. Simply when you talk about control, it is simply saying it is the power to influence and the ability to manage. I want to declare to you tonight, I know that the circumstances may ha will have a voice and it would say to you everything else but what God is saying. But I want to help you tonight and remind you that God has declared He's not given you and I a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and self-control. How many of you realize that you in this season are never called to be at a place of where you lose control? I declare in the name of Jesus, no one of us, no family connected to the body of Christ, to the house of the Durban Christian Center will be at a place of where we are out of control because God has given us a spirit of love and self-control. If we can control ourselves, how many of you realize when I'm in control of me, I can control what is outside of me. When I'm in control of me, I have the ability to control what is outside of me. That's the influence that our seed tonight, I'm believing, is going to have for you and for me. And family, thank you for your generosity, but more so to, of your generosity to this house. It is a generous seed that you give to the Lord. And God says, the seed that you sow, I'm going to be, bring control in your life. I declare control tonight in Jesus' name. The, one of the ways that you can give here tonight, you'll find that our banking details are on the screen. And also there's a Zappa code by which you can connect with us and you can be that generous giver and worshiper. We're going to pray and as we give to God and we're going to continue to worship the Lord, but let us pray and honor God for what He's about to do for you and I. Father, in the name of Jesus tonight, our prayer is that as we release this seed, we thank You for Your love that covers. We thank You for the spirit You have given to us is not a spirit of fear, but it is a spirit of power, contentment, of hope, Father. And you declared, Lord, to us that we'll never be at a place of God of where we are in confusion, but self-control is what you have said. May the seed that we sow tonight restore control in Jesus' name. And every area, Lord, where we've been pushed back by the enemy, we say once again, in Jesus' name, we will take our ground and we will be in control in Jesus name to you be all the praise the glory and the honor amen and amen thank you team God is fighting for us God is fighting for us let's sing that tonight God is fighting for us God is fighting for us. Declare it over your families tonight as we sing. God is fighting for us. 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 Now let's sing it tonight. God is fighting for us. Push him back. God is fighting for us Pushing back the darkness Lighting up the kingdom That cannot be shaken In the name of Jesus Enemies defeated And we will Shout it out, shout it out God is fighting for us God is fighting for us Pushing back the darkness
Hallelujah. We bless you tonight, Lord. Oh, and our God is greater, and our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any. Come on, sing a sing with me tonight. Here we go. Our God is He, awesome in power. Awesome in power. Sing it tonight. Our God is great. Our God is stronger. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. Our God is healer. Awesome and power. Awesome and power. Our God. Our God. Our God. Yeah. Come on, we're victorious tonight. Because we serve the victorious King. Sing 
greater tonight. My God is greater. Oh, my God is great. My God is stronger. Lord, you are higher. God is healer, awesome and power. Take it up tonight as we sing. Oh, our great and our great is our God. Oh, sing with me. Tonight, you so worthy, and my hope. 
is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. Christ alone. Christ alone, a cornerstone, weak made strong in the Savior's love. Through the storm, He is Lord, Lord of all. My hope. built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. things of this world and God even now we cannot even afford to be distracted by the things of this world but God this evening in your presence we choose to fix our eyes upon Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith we choose this evening to build upon the foundation of love love gave his life for us himself you are love, God is love, and Jesus, the radiance of the Father. And we choose tonight to look to you, to look only to you, to realign our lives with your word, to realign ourselves with the truth of your word, because only you are true, and you only work with truth. And we choose this evening, Lord, not to trust in our own frame tonight or in the frame of man or in the words of a man but we choose to trust in the words of God himself and that's why we sing Christ alone Christ alone cornerstone we made strong in the same
is your faithfulness, your gratefulness. I'm still in your hands. This is my confidence.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Beautiful to me. Sing it to him tonight. Beautiful to me. Beautiful to me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Praise the Lord, family. What a great song that is. Lyrics just simply say, beautiful to me. God is beautiful to me and He's beautiful to you today. We serve a great God, a mighty God. And I, as a saying that I always say, we serve a good God who desires to do good things for me. And He wants to do good things for you. And today, I don't know where you are in this walk of life. Maybe there's things that have happened in your life. And I know sometimes the decisions that we make aren't the right ones. And then we suffer the consequence of those bad decisions. But I want you never ever to forget the fact that we serve a beautiful God. He's an awesome God, a loving God, a merciful God. The Bible says He is slow to anger and quick to loving kindness. And boy, are we not grateful about that. I mean, I'm so grateful for the fact that He's slow to anger, but quick to loving kindness. And so right there in your home, in your workplace, wherever you are watching, maybe you're in a different part of the world and welcome, welcome, welcome to you. But right now, you know that your heart is not right with God. And perhaps for you, you're saying, you know what, I, I don't know the goodness of God. I don't know the beauty of God. I don't know the mercy of God. I don't know the grace of God. I don't know the forgiveness of God. And do you know that when Jesus died on the cross, it was the most inclusive act known to mankind. The cross was never meant to be exclusive, like just for one group of people, one culture of people, one race of people. But the cross is for every person, all of humanity. And there is nobody that ought to be excluded from the grace, the love, the mercy and the beauty of God. And maybe you're saying, Pastor John, you don't know what it is that I've done. I don't feel like I deserve the goodness of God. I, I don't even know if God can show me His beauty because I've just been so ugly to Him. And that might well be so. But He is bigger than your ugliness. He is bigger than your weakness. He is bigger than your mess. He is bigger than your failure. And today, I believe right there tonight, in that place that you are finding yourself, God wants to reveal His beauty. He wants to reveal His goodness to you. And it begins with Jesus coming into your heart. Jesus coming in in just a moment. He can wipe away every blemish. He can wipe away every sin. He can wipe away every, every bit of failure. In just a moment, He can do it. And I feel in my heart right now, God just visiting every home, visiting you in that place, visiting you in that marriage, visiting you in that situation. He wants to visit you with His goodness, with His beauty, with His grace, and with His mercy. And right now, you can. You can reach out right now. You can open your heart. Don't let anyone stop you. Don't let anything stop you. Jesus qualified you. So in other words, you have every right, irrespective of where you are finding yourself, irrespective of how you might feel right now, Jesus qualified you for His grace, His beauty, and His love. And I want you just to open your heart to receive the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, to allow God just to wash over your life. And He does, and He will. He will forgive you. He desires to forgive you. The cross is about forgiveness. The cross is about mercy. The cross is about grace. The cross, as gruesome as it was, was the most beautiful act of love. And through the act of the cross, God wants to demonstrate His beauty. Because you are beautiful to Him. I want you to know that. So right there in your homes, I want to lead you in a very simple prayer. And I'd like you to say these words after me. Say, Heavenly Father, I come today in Jesus' name, just as I am with all of my faults, all of my failures, and all of my sin. And I receive your beauty today with the eyes of my faith. 
I see your beauty. I open my heart to your grace and your mercy and I receive your forgiveness. Thank you that when you died on the cross, you had me on your mind. And because of the blood, I am cleansed right now. I receive eternal life and the forgiveness of all of my sins and I'll never be the same in Jesus' Name. Amen. Wow, I'm so excited for you. Right now, there are some details coming up on your screen. There's either an email or a phone number. We'd love to hear from you. If you prayed this prayer for the first time, or maybe it's a rededication, let us know. We'd love to follow up. We'd love to take care of you. Even though we are as a country in lockdown, our caring for you is not in lockdown mode. And so we wanna reach out to you and we wanna pray for you. If you have prayer requests, or maybe you'd like to share a testimony, a testimony with us, <laughs> let us know, write to us, tell us what God is doing in your life. We wanna share in this excitement with you. Praise the Lord. So family, on behalf of all of us and all of the pastoral team and staff, I want you to know that we are praying for you and believing we're not going under, we're going over, amen, that we have the victory and you are highly favoured and highly loved by God. Until next time, God bless you.